Hey everybody, Felix Stoffelbaker here. I wanted to read an article from Forbes called DHS, DOJ, and DOD are all customers of SolarWinds Orion, the source of the huge U.S. government hack by Thomas Brewster in the cybersecurity uh, division. The latest espionage attack on the U.S. government is not limited to the Treasury and the Commerce Departments. Looking at the agencies, he used the software that was used as a launch pad for the hacks. The breach could go right to the heart of America's national security apparatus. Hackers managed to hide malicious code in a software update for a tool called SolarWinds Orion. It's typically used to make IT simpler with a single panel for administering various parts of a network. Earlier this year, hackers believed to be sponsored by the Russian government managed to inject malware into Orion updates released between March 2020 and June 2020, according to Reuters, which broke the news story Sunday. That allowed the snoops a foothold in customer networks and the ability, at the very least, to spy on emails. According to a review of public records, the range of the U.S. government customers who've previously bought SolarWinds Orion is vast. The Pentagon is the biggest customer. With the Army and the Navy being big users, the Department of Veterans Affairs, which is heavily involved in the U.S. response to COVID-19, is another Orion fan and the biggest spender on the tool in the recent years. In August, it renewed its Orion license in a $2.8 million order. The National Institutes of Health, the Department of Energy, and DHS and FBI are also amongst the many branches of the U.S. government that have previously bought the tool. Though it's not clear whether it uses the Orion tool, the DHS owned cybersecurity and infrastructure agency, CISA is a SolarWinds customer too, buying $45,000 worth of licenses in 2019. The U.S. Cyber Command also spent over $12,000 on SolarWinds tools in the same year. SolarWinds, a publicly listed Austin, Texas-based company with a value over $6 billion, has its own customer list, though it doesn't break down which products clients use. That list include more than 425 of the Fortune 500 companies, all U.S. major telecom providers, the top five U.S. accounting firms, hundreds of global universities, the NSA, and the White House. The immediate impact will be operational. CISA, the CISA, has recommended government civilian agencies stop using SolarWinds Orion. The compromise of SolarWinds Orion network management products poses unacceptable risks to the security of the federal networks, the CISA acting director Brandon Wales said. We urge all our partners in the public and private sectors to assess their exposure to this compromise and to secure their networks against any exploitation. The attack will likely have a global impact according to FireEye, which last week was the first to admit being a victim of this vast espionage campaign. The UK's National Cybersecurity Center, NCSC, a branch of Signals Intelligence Agency, the GCHQ, said it was monitoring the fallout. It's also recommending that anyone running the SolarWinds system ensure that they're installed behind firewalls and disconnected from the internet. We have been advised this attack was likely conducted by an outside nation state and intended to be narrow, extremely targeted, and man manually executed attack, as opposed to a broad system-wide attack. SolarWinds said in a security advisory, which at, in which it asked its customers to update the latest version of Orion. Infiltrating a major software provider in so-called supply chain attacks has proven fruitful for hackers in the past. The infamous uh, NotPaya attacks in which a software sold by Ukraine accounting program provider Medoc was trojanized, crippling swaths of companies across the world with ransomware. Russia, for its part, has denied the attacks 
on Facebook via its foreign ministry account. Russia does not conduct offensive operations in the cyber domain, it claimed. And as an update, reports in Reuters indicated DHS was a victim in the attacks. The DOD declined to comment through media reports indicate the Pentagon, the National Institutes of Health, and the State Department suffered breaches too. The Department of Veterans Affairs said VA is looking into this issue and has not detected any breaches. However, we are taking SolarWinds offline and out of our out of an abundance of caution. A, spokes, a spokeswoman at the FBI added, the FBI is aware of today's reporting as appropriately engaged. However, we decline to comment further. So that's a Forbes article explaining uh, how the actual uh, hack happened, including the FBI releasing a statement saying uh, to get protected. So I just wanted to put that out there. Stoffel Baker out.